It's hammer time! <laughs> Welcome to the first session of Hammered, hip administrators making mentoring excitingly real. It is so good to see all of your shining faces. Okay, well, let's move on to introducing ourselves. Tell us your name, your addiction, and a fun fact about yourself. Um, hi, um, I'm Kelsey, and I'm physically addicted to pot. Um, you can't be physically addicted to pot, actually. Uh. Hi, I'm Alex, and I'm an alcoholic. Hi, I'm Alex. Hi guys. Um, fun facts. Uh, my favorite color is denim. Um, favorite James Bond movie, oof. Toss up between From Russia with Love and Moonraker. Uh, my wife left with my kids, and I've been to space, but I came back. Hi, um, I'm Haley. I, I really actually don't know why I'm here. Um, I'm a chem major here at Northeastern. I have a 3.9 GPA. Um, at home, I like to ride horses, and I really enjoy cooking. What do you like to cook? Meth. why you're here. Wait, is that not okay? Yeah, no. Is it illegal? Yes, yes yeah. Wait, mm -hmm. very illegal. And am I gonna go to jail? No, no. My my, my professor told me that I can do this as a co-op. themselves as weighing more. In onlooker body dysmorphia, everybody else perceives me as weighing more. So that's why I don't look like I'm 85 pounds. But I am. I am. Hi, I'm Sophie, and I am addicted to Xanax. Mm -hmm. It is a horrible drug and a horrible disease. Addiction is a horrible thing, and um, I just really want to learn more about it, so that's why I'm here. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Okay. You know, the real world is a scary place, and there are a lot of influences that can influence you to be under the influence, and that's okay to talk about it. So we should talk about it. Right now. Alex, why don't you start? Well, I, I had a lover once, and we were engaged to be married. Uh, and then uh, you could say that a new woman came in and took her place. Uh, similarities, they were both named Margarita. But one was a woman, and the other comes in a bucket. So one day, it's like, I wake up in bed next to Margarita. The next day, I wake up in a bed next to a bucket on my video. It's been that way ever since. Yeah. And I'm at, I think I'm at four to five buckets a day now. Which has been great on my biceps. A little bit on my quads. Not so much in my heart. What are we talking about? We're talking about family. We'd like to share a story about your family and how your addiction has, has been affected by them or has affected them. Okay, um, I grew up around here, um, and I went to New York for the first time, and I saw a runway show, and, um, I, then I crapped my pants because I was taking laxatives. I'm gonna go back to the
sack of brownies. Um, you know, my parents have been really supportive throughout this whole thing. I send them a check every month and they put it towards my college tuition and... bought a jet ski and a second house. Wait, they're not doing that at all, are they? They're spending it on themselves. Probably. <sighs> My friends are douchebags. They, um, they switched my brownies out with ones that didn't have laxatives in them for a while. So I relapsed and gained like 50 pounds. I can't. I was at, um, at a 7-Eleven over on uh, Boylston the other day with my friend, and um, we were gonna do a Slurpee, and I was like, I wanted blue, I was talking about um, blue the whole time, and then they got there, and they only had the um, Coke flavor. So I was like, okay, I'll get that. Did you wanna tell a story about addiction? So, um, I'm a pretty high-functioning person, and um, so I get stressed a lot because I do a lot of things in my life, and um, my friends started to notice that when I was getting really stressed, um, my veins would constrict, and um, it was really weird. They would constrict and just start rolling around in my arms, and my friends were like, that's really weird. You should go to the doctor, and so I went to the doctor. And the doctor said, here's some Xanax. It's gonna help you wonders. It's gonna do wonders for you. And I said, okay. And I took the Xanax, and, um, and then I took more Xanax, and then I took more Xanax, and I ended up passed out on the floor of someone else's car. Um, but I kept taking the Xanax, and <clears throat> that's why I'm here. campus because it's small so I can go to the, I, I know exactly where every bathroom is my favorites um, probably L Hall the basement nobody goes there so I can be as loud as I want you know now that I think about it I'm over being sad now I'm just pissed off my chem professor told me this would be okay and he gave me the recipe and he told me how to make it and he said that it would be a great resume booster. And really now I know all I'm doing is helping him out on, on his side job. It, it's his side job. And you know what? At first I was okay with it because I'm a people pleaser. I like to please people. But now I'm just really upset with everything. And I'm going to write a very strongly worded letter to President Aoun to tell him how upset I am that my professor made me cook math. Great, great. I love that you're being proactive. Good job. Great. Oh, I feel a lot better now. I feel like a lot of emotion has taken off of my dress. Um, I don't. I don't go to the school. And is it still okay that I'm at this meeting? Um, you know, we'll, we'll talk about it afterwards, but yeah, no, you shouldn't be registered. I shouldn't, okay. So actually, I went to school. I got a law degree from Boston College. And 
uh, I'm not practicing law at the moment uh, because I'm stripping. I'm a, I'm a male stripper. I strip at the, uh, the Go Go Bananas downtown. Uh, my usual style is 1130. Uh, if you just are so inclined to check it out. Uh, I go up right after Red Beard. You probably heard about Red Beard, right? He's got that. No, maybe not. But he's big there. He's big. He's, uh, he's only got one leg and uh, two patch eyes. So if you come in, just see me dance, 11.30. Um, $10 for a dance. Um, $15 for a, you know, and 25 for a double. Well, that's it for today's session. Thank you guys so much for coming to Hammered. Hip administrators making mentoring excitingly real. And remember, don't go to the slammer. Get hammered! <laughs> Yes, we have we have so much in common. Let's be friends. Okay. Let's get hammered. <laughs> <laughs> you got it? Yeah, you know, it, it feels like I can tell you yeah, guys my yeah. like innermost secrets and insecurities. Yeah, guys, I have a confession to make. Tell us, Sophie, what is it? I'm not really addicted to Xanax. Yeah, um, I just have to take this AWD class and to write a skit, so I figured I would hit up the druggies for some good material. But, it's okay. Um, somebody stop me from slapping her with the back of this hand. Don't. Wow. I feel so betrayed. Actually, I'm not that mad. I mean, I'm just bummed that you have to take that class. Thank you. Yeah. But, you know what, though? I am not going to use this material. I'm going to write about something else, because... I see now that you guys are just like me. We're all real people with real problems. And, you know, like, you guys are a bunch of drug addicts. And I am a straight-A student with a job lined up after I graduate. So we've all got problems. And I respect that. This would make a pretty good skit, though. Like right. that, that CBS school special, um, Babies Having Babies. Have you ever seen this? No. With Lori Laughlin? No. 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 Come on, guys. Well, thanks, guys. Um, I'm gonna go get writing, so I'll, I'll see you later. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> As she walked away, Sophie considered the promise she had made to her friends. Screw them, this story is gold. It's too good. And the paper's due tomorrow. Holy shit. How could she write this all in one night? Maybe a Xanax would help her calm down. Ugh, I need a drink.